Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. The Office of the President of the General Assembly has today released a call for action following the high-level event Women in Power, which was held yesterday at the GA Hall. The document was signed by President Maria Fernanda Espinosa, heads of state and government, in their personal capacities as international leaders and other participants. The call for action plan has eight points. Lead by example by mentoring young women to strengthen their capacity to participate in politics. Identify and work with champions all over the world to push for national actions required to empower women and give the opportunity to participate as leader, leaders, actually, in politics. Create synergies and strengthen the networks that encourage women to participate in politics and support the sharing of knowledge and experience promote legal frameworks, including laws and policies to ensure the full participation of women in politics without discrimination. Develop specific measures to address violence against women in politics in all its forms and manifestations. Adopt policies that ensure women's equal participation in the economy and in society at large, including shared parental leave and access to quality child care as investments. Give priority to girls' education and the economic empowerment of women as key ingredients for women to achieve their full potential. Create an environment where gender equality is respected and inclusion is part of the organizational culture in all spheres of society. According to the leaders, women's leadership is needed more urgently than ever to address global challenges from climate change, to arms race, to rising inequality. And as the world becomes more divided, women's voice against conflict, stereotypes, and discrimination will have to be louder than ever. For a complete list about who signed the Call for Action Plan, please go to our website as well for more information, including the number of people who attended the event yesterday. Our website is un.org slash PGA slash 73. And this morning, the PGA met the ambassador of Yemen to the UN, His Excellency Abdullah Ali Fadel al Sadi, and the permanent representative of Syria, His Excellency Bashar Jafari. Mrs. Espinosa will also have separate bilateral meetings with the Minister of Women and Gender Equality of Chile, the Minister of Women of the Dominican Republic, the President of the Senate of Bolivia, and the Ambassador of Bahrain. And finally, I am very pleased to inform that yesterday, thanks to you and all the participants who used the hashtag Women in Power, this trended at the top of the global Twitter, becoming the most tweeted issue around the world at lunchtime here in New York. So our thanks to UNTV, to all of you, to UN Web TV as well, which broadcast live the press conference here with the PGA and the heads of state and government, and also on their social media channels. I mean, on uh, the social media channels also of the UN, the UN News, and of course, many thanks to Anka for covering the event and all colleagues who helped yesterday. You can check uh, the videos on our YouTube account, which is United Nations GA73. And this is all from us. Okay, Ahmad, go ahead. Thank you, Monica. Uh, what was the premise of the meeting between the PGA and the uh, permanent representative of Yemen and Syria? I know she had separate bilaterals. What was the premise of that meeting? Sure. We, the PGA has, uh, as you know, regular meetings with representatives uh, here uh, to the UN, and we will have um, uh, the topics of this meeting, uh, the elements uh, being uh, actually issued on our website very soon. So you can go there. Thank you very much. You have a question? Okay, go ahead. And yes, also thank you, Monica. Have you. Yes, please. Uh, Monica, uh, the United States now is degrading the visa for diplomats from Venezuela. They uh, did, Diplomats sorry? from the UN. Can you represent repeat your question? The United States? Okay, the United States is degrading the visa okay. for uh, diplomats at the UN. These are from Venezuela, of course. And my question is how the UN, on this regards, it, it Worse with that uh, uh, situation with diplomats when they basically, when uh, diplomats like uh, uh, Ambassador uh, Rafael Moncada, he's not being recognized as ambassador for uh, uh, the United States as a representative. 
So how does how is the process in this case with the UN on this matter in this regard? Okay. So first of all, we have a I think we have two different elements to your question. First of all, uh, you are talking about uh, um, uh, delegations accredited to the United Nations, and then you are talking about uh, a case of that is related to the United States. So that uh, two different uh, issues. Um, I can, of course, uh, um, um, talk to you about the uh, the United Nations uh, uh, delegations, and in this case, uh, you are aware that the UN uh, works uh, in cooperation with the host country. So the 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 visas uh, for for delegations uh, uh, which are accredited to the UN are, of course, uh, given by host countries. And if there is any question uh, in regard with any uh, visa uh, status, it must be addressed to the host country. But thank you for for your question. And of course, the case of the United Nations of the United States, uh, rather, uh, it is uh, a separate case. Okay, Evelyn, you have a question. Yes, that mm -hmm. call for action. Is that part of the final document, or mm -hmm. that's part of the document? Yeah, this is the, right. uh, the, the call for action is actually the document, yeah, that came And from. it's going to include parental leave. Yes, indeed, you spotted it very well. This is actually the, yeah, this is actually uh, one of the topics, um, uh, more precisely the topic uh, number six. There are eight points, I would say actually points instead of topics. And uh, the point number six, uh, includes shared parental leave and access to quality child care as investments that create a better future for all of us. Where can it be found? On the website. It's already on air. Our, uh, yes, absolutely. I give it to you if uh, uh, no problem. It's un.org slash PGA slash 73. And as uh, somebody asked me the other day, uh, basically, we publish all the documents there. And uh, the letters, for instance, that uh, the PGA uh, sends to member states, uh, which have uh, uh, an enormous amount of information uh, of journalistic value, uh, they are under the section letters. So you have to navigate there a little bit. But although uh, I have, um, I'm also happy to, to inform that uh, we will have um, a press release and uh, it will have uh, a link for uh, this particular document, okay? slash pj slash 73 our oh. session 73 73 my friends is that uh, all so thank you very much for today and i see you tomorrow <laughs> i see you tomorrow thank you